Hello. Three. No. Don't make me cry. Okay. Three, two, one. Good day, guys. It's Sharon here. Today, I thought I'd be doing the like toughest. This or that, or would you rather that? Buzzfeed has, but I thought accommodate to me. So again, this is a bit of a different filming layer. You got majority or half the screen is with my face. So if you hate my face, then then you just hate your life right now. And I just ruined my backdrop. You know all of my secrets. Nah, it's just easy. it looks better if it's apparently not working with me today. Well, that works. Anyway, so I thought today we're gonna do some. So. I'm going to tell you why I choose these quizzes and then why my answer is everything. So this is the toughest this or that poll for book nerds. I am a huge book nerd. I love books. I love paper books. I love the smell of books. I am just obsessed with books in general and reading. I was actually really sad because I had to give one of my books to my teacher today for an assignment because we made a dust jacket. And obviously the book I based it off of was the same dimensions and everything so it had to stay on that book. I had not finished the book. I was so upset. I'm like, I want it back within two weeks. I was that upset. I was like, I need it back in two weeks. It's like, fine, alright. So let's start the quiz. Hardcover or paperback? Okay. This thing? Can you stop being a pain? Fine. Just do that. That's fine. Hear me out. I like paperback. My reasoning is, now hear me out now, I know a lot of you are like, <gasps> how dare she like paperback because she is a book nerd. The reason why I like paperback is because one, it's easier to fit into like handbags or handbags, ugh, into like backpacks. It's easier to fit into travel stuff. It's just a lot easier in general. And usually the paperback covers always look a lot better than the hard covers. The reason why I would choose hardcover is because it can't get damaged as much but they don't always usually look that good. There's always a dust jacket over the top so I would go with paperback just because it looks good. 40% of people say paperback, 60% said hardcover. I get that. Do you doggy ear or mark a book? I bookmark my book so much. I used to doggy ear as a kid but then I learnt and loved my books and realized it was ruining them. So I do not doggy ear. Unless I don't have a bookmark. But a bookmark through and through. Thank you, 76%. Yeah. Read at home or read in a cafe. I read a lot on the bus and that's like my main place I read is on the bus. Because my bus ride is about a 40 to 45 minute bus ride, so if there's no one on there that I know, I will read my book. However, I don't go to a cafe, so there is that too. Because um, <laughs> if I ever go to a cafe, it's with a friend, so I don't want to be rude and read a book. So more like I would comfort in my own home. Yeah, a lot of people agree. Plus, sometimes you just don't want people seeing what you're reading. Like, there's nothing bad that I read, it's just, you know, people judge you. And you really can't be bothered to be judged. Are you a nighttime reader or a daytime reader? Ooh, again, this comes back to the whole premise of when do I have free time? I love to read on airplanes. I like to read on transport. I've never just in cars and airplanes, in uh, buses. So I'm a. S okay. This is where I'm at the dilemma because I'm like, I read more at night time because that's the only time I'm free, so I read a chapter before I go to sleep. But I love to read during the daytime because you sit outside, you relax, you have a glass of water, you know, or a nice hot chocolate, and you're just very zen. I think out during the daytime would be like my dream, but nighttime is when I do read more. Yeah, 65% of people agree with me. Audiobooks or ebooks? I don't use either. Again, I am a paper book or nothing at all. Ebooks are the ones where you like flip across audiobooks is the one you listen to. I am 
Again, I would probably say audiobooks only because I'm constantly having my headphones on my head because I love listening to music. I love that, so I guess that would be helpful. Because an ebook, you would have to. I don't like flipping. I guess this comes back to whole fan fictions as well. I used to read fan fictions when I was younger, so that would have been like an ebook. I don't know. I'm gonna say. Mm, I was gonna say audiobooks, but they might read it differently to how you would, or they might pronounce things differently, which would ruin your whole fantasy behind it. Unless, okay, this is what I'm gonna say. Unless it is audioed by the author itself, I'm doing ebook. Most people agree. Movie adaptations or TV adaptations? Depends on how well they do it. A lot of. It also depends on the book, because if a book is. Like, I currently am reading, well, I was reading a series, which is the Shadowhunters series, or, uh, what's it called, like, City of Bones series, and they did a shit job in the movie, so they made it into a TV show. They didn't really do that well in the TV show either, but they could pack, they try to pack too much into the movie where they cut out really important information, whereas in the TV show, they kind of put that in. So the TV shows allow them to have more. So I would say TV show just because it allows them to have more. 66% say movie. I do, no, no, I can agree because like Harry Potter is a huge one. Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, trying to think, uh, Crazy Rich Asians. What other books are there? I can't think. I'm trying to think. I'm looking at all my books being like, which one's a movie? Uh, like, you know, The Princess Bride, stuff like that. I get that. There are more movies and TV shows. Fiction or non-fiction? I love fiction. Fiction is... Yeah, fiction. Yeah. I just think it's like fiction. Yeah. Non-fiction is like real. Fiction is fake. I live a fiction world. I love fiction. Standalone or series? Again, it also depends on how well they write the book. If they can wrap it in one book, do it. Love a one-off book. I personally am more of a series girl, but one-offs are great too. Bookstore or library? Um, I mean, a bookstore is a library. You just can't rent them. A bookstore, you just buy them. And a library, you rent them. But the bookstore is a library because a library... Isn't a library the definition like... Hold on, I'm looking up the definition of library. I love library. Uh, pretty sure it's like oh, something that holds, or what is it? A building or room containing a collection of books. Yeah, so a bookstore would be a library. So a library? Because it's the same thing. Finishing a book in one sitting or taking your time? Take my time. I like to finish a chapter. I don't like to be in the middle of one chapter and then be like, mmm. You know what? No. I'm gonna stop in the middle of a chapter. That annoys me. So I would take time to finish that chapter, but not a whole book. God, no. I knew a friend who read the entire Harry Potter series before Cursed Child came out in a week. I could not do that. I mostly read adult books or young adult. I would say mine are mainly young adults. Just because it's a lot more fantasy, whereas adult books are, can be a bit different. Finally, reading with music in the background or no? I, okay. If it's a book I'm struggling to read through, music. If it's a book I love, I don't need music. So, and no offense to my friend. Love you. But, um, my friend gave me a book to read. And I was struggling through a fair bit of it. Because to me it was kind of boring. So I chucked onto music and I still read it anyway, and that helped. Um, I just couldn't get into the book. I did near the end, however, but yeah, it was just a bit meh. But mainly I listened in silence. Okay, so that is part one of the part five series, which is the like toughest quizzes. So this is going to be a five part series because why not? <laughs> I thought it'd be interesting to do just kind of like a series like this, Buzzfeed quiz, just chuck in a quiz, do it, done, simple as that. 
So that's one quiz down. The next quiz will be to do with dogs. So making decisions. I'm assuming to do with which dog is cuter or which dog would you buy. As you all know, I do have a dog right now. So this is part one of the part five series that we are making. So anyway, Jack says in the next video. Whoop! Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I just hit the microphone. I'm sorry. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. I spoke so fast just then. Oh my god. Yes.